Today, Ranking Member Capito of the Environment and Public Works Committee will introduce an important resolution on behalf of millions of American farmers, ranchers, and builders. Two years ago, the Biden administration picked up an Obama-era crusade to micromanage the small businesses that help feed, clothe, and power America. Literally, on President Biden's first day in office, he signed an executive order that began tearing down the regulatory certainty that Republicans would work hard to restore for American workers and entrepreneurs. And in December, this crusade yielded a new rule from EPA that enacting, enacted a dizzying new definition of which temporary, tributary, and upland waterways fall under the federal government's authority. Mr. President, there's a case before the Supreme Court on this very subject right now. The court's ruling in Sackett versus EPA will provide new clarity on just how far federal bureaucrats can stretch their powers to meddle in working Americans' business under the Clean Water Act. But instead of waiting to see whether a massive expansion of the regulatory state would be legal, the Biden EPA went ahead with their new rule. Can you imagine why Washington Democrats would be in such a rush to get ahead of the law? So what does this latest power grab by Washington Democrats mean for working people out in our country? Well, for starters, it means that cattlemen, contractors, and all sorts of folks have now had to put up with three, three major changes to federal regulation on the lands where they do business in just the past eight years. Democrats' relentless attempts to step on state and local authorities in their own backyards has left small business owners across America chasing moving goalposts. The Biden administration's latest rule means it'll be harder for farmers in Kentucky to figure out which ditches on their property are subject to the whims of Washington bureaucrats. It'll create new headaches for builders in West Virginia trying to make sure they dot every I and cross every T on much needed development projects. It'll mean ranchers out west may discover that every ditch and low-lying puddle they own, even ones that only hold water when it rains, is now the business of EPA. And as every American who's tried to create jobs or build something knows, red tape doesn't just cost valuable time. Legal experts project the Biden administration's latest overreach would raise the cost of development and infrastructure projects near waterways by, listen to this, a million dollars an acre. So while President Biden takes a victory lap on infrastructure projects made possible by bipartisan work, this latest salvo in Washington, Democrats' war on working Americans would devastate the sort of small businesses that actually build those infrastructure projects. But it isn't going unanswered. 25 governors representing fully half the states in our country have condemned the EPA's waters of the United States rule. And here in the Senate, West Virginia's own Senator Capito has consistently led our efforts to cut the overreaching regulatory state back down to size. She sponsored the legislation that would have codified the last administration's common sense fixes. She spearheaded Congress brief to the Supreme Court as it considers this issue. And today, she will introduce her Congressional Review Act resolution to give every one of our colleagues the opportunity to protect the future of transformative infrastructure, energy, and agriculture projects in their states. West Virginians should be proud that one of their two senators is committed to reforms that get more Washington messes out of their way. I'm proud to support Senator Capito's resolution and would urge each of my colleagues to do the same.